Hello students, all of you are again welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel that is Science Guru Sarvalo and today I am here with a new chapter from class 8 maths that is chapter 8 and especially in this chapter today I will discuss about the exercise 8.2 and 8.3. In exercise 8.2, you will get the simple interest. In exercise 8.3, we will get the compound interest. So, before starting the video, first of all, we have to understand certain basic terms from this chapter. As for example, if I say SI, we know that SI is the simple interest. SI means SI, SI equal what? SI is simple interest. SI that is simple interest. Then P. P stands for principal. That is principal. P stands for principal. T. T stands for time. T stands for time. R. R stands for rate of interest. Rate of interest. This is these are the terms all uh, related with the simple interest and we know that SI SI equal that is simple interest how to find out the simple interest SI equal P into T into R divided by 100 simple interest SI equal P into T into R divided by 100 if we know the principle if we know the time and if we know the R that is rate of interest easily by doing this calculation we can easily find out simple interest is how much then from this simple interest we can find out the amount also that is SI simple interest plus principal we will get the amount we will get the amount by doing the addition of simple interest plus principal we will get the amount this is all about the simple interest and already uh, you have learned in class 6 and 7 about this simple interest and we know the calculation how to find out this simple interest if everything is given how to find out this simple interest now specially we will concentrate here in this video about the compound interest what is compound interest now when we are talking about the compound interest here also some uh, certain terms are there we have to remember these terms R say rate of interest T here in place of T it will not time it will be the terms that means how many time t stands for terms that means how many times the interest used to be calculated that is terms and p stands for principal and here it will be ci that is compound interest in place of simple interest we will call it as ci that is compound interest C -O. compound interest and amount will remain same a equal p plus ci that is the compound interest principal plus compound interest that is the amount and the formula is a equal p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power n but to find out the amount in case of simple interest dear students please remember here in case of simple interest directly we can find out the SI by doing the calculation that is the um, P into T into R divided by 100 but in case of compound interest directly we cannot find out the compound interest first of all we have to find out the amount by doing this calculation P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power n that is the formula to find out the amount from the amount we will subtract the principal then we will get the ci that is the compound interest how to get the compound interest from first of all we have to find out the amount first of all we have to find out the amount that is the p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power n and from this amount we will subtract the principal so that we will get the compound interest now here where we are talking about this a equal p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power n dear students for your better understanding, for your better understanding, I have changed little bit in the formula. You will not get in the book. Please listen carefully. You will not get in your book here. Please remember this. When we are talking about A equal P into 1 plus R by 100 
4 to the power n. In some of the question, listen carefully here. In some of the question, you will get that amount interest is compounded annually. Interest is compounded annually, and the rate of interest is also per annum. Do you understand here? Interest is compounded annually, and rate of interest also it is given as per annum. As for example, I will told you, I uh, will tell you here. Exercise 8.3, question number 1, sub question A, you can check in your book. Exercise 8.3, exercise 8.3, question number 1, sub question A. It is given that calculate the amount, you have to calculate the amount, calculate the amount and compound interest on rupees 10,800 for 3 years at 12 whole 1 by 2 percent per annum compounded annually. So look here, rate of interest is given per annum and interest is compounded annually. So here on that cases, there will not be any change. On that cases, in this formula, there will not be any change. You just, if we do the question number 1, sub question A. So we can write A equal P. Principal is given, that is 10,800. 10,800 into 1 plus R that is given 12 whole 1 by 2 percent 12 whole 1 by 2 percent that is by 100 whole to the power n for how many years compared for 3 years so here will not any change we will directly we can find out by doing the calculation we can find out A equal how much when you get A that is the amount from amount to find out the compound interest, to find out the compound interest, CI, to find out the compound interest, CI equal A minus P, that is amount minus principal, you will get the compound interest. But similarly, when we look at the question number C, question number 1, sub question C, question number 1, sub question C, you just look at the question number 1, sub question C, what is there? Question number 1, sub question C. It is written there 62,500. That is the principal, principal is 62,500 for, uh, for one whole, one and a half years. For one and a half years and uh, at 8% per annum compounded half year. Look, rate of interest is given 8% per annum and interest is compounded annually. Here what we need to do, two different things given. Rate of interest is per annum and interest compounded half yearly. So what we will do, rate of interest is 8% given. We will write what is there? P equal 62,500. P equal 62,500. Then T equal, that is time, T equal 1 whole half years. Now listen to me carefully, t equal 1 whole half years, rate of inter interest is compounded half yearly. When interest is compounded half yearly, in case of 1 whole and 1 and half years, how many half years will be there? There will be total in 1 year we will get 2 half years and more 1 half years, that is total how many half years? 3 half years, so that we can write n equal 3, n equal 3 and rate of interest is given, rate of, sorry, Rate of interest R, R it is given 8% per annum, 8% per annum. We have to convert it into half yearly also, so that it will be divided by 2, it will be 4% annually, sorry, 4% half yearly. Four percent half yearly. So what we get? P equals sixty-two thousand five hundred, and T equal one and half years. That is total time is one and half years, and from this one and half years we will get only three half years. Three half years. That is n equal three. R equal eight percent per annum. It is given. We have to convert it into half yearly because rate of interest it is given half yearly. We have to convert it into half yearly. That is four percent. The rate of interest is eight percent per annum because we have to calculate the interest. Interest will be compounded half yearly so that rate of interest also will bring it in the half yearly. It is 
four percent half yearly. So now on the basis of this, we can do the calculation that is a equal p into one plus r by hundred whole to the power n. That is the formula a equal p into one plus r by hundred whole to the power n. P into one plus r by hundred whole to the power n. Now we get P equal 62,500. You can check in your book in the question number 1, sub question C. P equal 62,500 into 1 plus R. It is given 8% per annum, but we have to convert it into half yearly so that it will be 4%. That is 4 by 100. And N it is given 1 and half years. So that how many half years will be there in 1 and half years? It will be 3. So that n equal 3. Now do the calculation, you will easily get the answer. 62,500 into, find out the LCM, it will be 25 plus 1, 26 by 25, whole to the power 3. Now do the calculation, easily you can find out the amount. We will not get, remember here, we are not getting here compound interest. We are getting amount here. From the amount we have to subtract. From the amount to find out the compound interest. To find out the compound interest. Compound interest. Amount minus principal. Amount minus principal so that we will get the compound interest. So this is how to find out the compound interest. It, here one important thing you have to remember that when the rate of interest is given per annum and interest is compounded half yearly on that case you have to do the, these changes otherwise when the rate of interest is an, uh, per annum and interest also compounded annually there no need to do any changes do the same formula a equal p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power n and whatever the things given so by doing this calculation you can easily find out the compound interest I hope you understand. If you have any doubt or any queries, you can give your comments in the comment boxes. So, thank you for watching this video.